bit of time just now having a look at this question, which relates to tension problems within the Our Dynamic Universe topic um, in the CFE Higher Physics. So it talks about a train made up of three carriages uh, being pulled along a level track by a force of 16,500 newtons. So I'm just going to add in that force just here. This is our forward force of 16,500 newtons. That's the engine force. Um, each carriage has, has a mass of 8,000 kilograms and experiences uh, 1,500 newtons of resistive forces. So that means overall, in reverse, there is resistive forces uh, of total 4,500 newtons. So what we're going to do in this problem is we're going to consider, first of all, the system as a whole to help us solve the first question, calculate the acceleration of the train, and then we're going to look uh, particularly at carriage B, um, or at least this back carriage, with a tension uh, connected at link B. So first of all, the acceleration of the train. So we must treat the train as a whole, uh, as one system, where there are two forces, an engine force of uh, 16,500 and a frictional force of 4,500, as we've already discussed. So therefore, the total uh, unbalanced force on the, uh, the carriages is the um, force of the engine minus the frictional forces. And if we do that sum, it's relatively st straightforward. That's 16,500 newtons minus 4,500 newtons. And that gives us an unbalanced force of 12,000 newtons. So that's the unbalanced force acting on this entire system as if it were just one object. And so to calculate the acceleration, we just use um, Newton's second law, F equals MA. And so the unbalanced force of 12,000 is equal to its mass, which is 8,000 times 3, because there are three carriages, so 24,000 times the acceleration. And so this question was made for um, people that don't have calculators handy. Um, 24,000 times 0 0.5 will give 12,000. So our acceleration is um, 0 0.5 meters per second squared. So that's the first question, looking at the system as a whole as one uh, complete uh, block. But now we're going to look at the tension in link B. And I'll just change color uh, to blue to do part B. Um, so in part B, we need to figure out the tension in link B. So we need to focus on this carriage alone and think about the forces acting on it. So there are two forces. Uh, I'll put them up here. There is a frictional force acting in, in reverse, and that's 1,500 newtons. And there is a forward force, which is the force produced by the coupling between this last carriage and the one in front of it. And that force we're going to call tension, uh, because that's what the question calls it uh, down here. And that's what we're trying to find out. Now, we do know a couple of things about this carriage. We know its mass. We know that it's 8,000 kilograms, and we also know its acceleration, because it has the same acceleration as the entire system. So if we know its mass and we know its acceleration, then what we can do is work out the unbalanced force on it. So we'll do that here. The unbalanced force is its mass times its acceleration, which is equal to 8,000 kilograms multiplied by uh, 0 0.5 meters per second squared. And that gives us an unbalanced force of 4,000 newtons. So that's the unbalanced force acting on this carriage alone, which is the combination of the tension acting forward and the frictional forces acting in reverse. So let's just write that here. The unbalanced force is the tension minus the frictional forces. And so therefore, if we do this, uh, some if we fill in the numbers, the unbalanced force is 4,000. The tension is what we're trying to find out, and the friction is 1,500. And that's for this carriage alone, remember. And so we can easily solve this sum. The tension has to be 5,500 newtons. And so that's our answer. And that's simply how we solve these types, types of problems. We treat the system as a whole. We look at the acceleration of the train based on the uh, uh, forces acting on it. Um, we find the acceleration and then we use that acceleration in any other part of the system to work out, say, the tension that's causing the forward force.
for this carriage alone.